Welcome back, Star. Welcome to Sun, Moon, and Stars Intuitive. I am Oracle of the Ether, and I hopped on to give an energy reading for Aries. This will be for the month of November. Keep in mind, all my readings are timeless. Some of these events may have already taken place, as well as they may take place in the future. Cross Watcher, if you are here for Aries, this reading could apply to you, as well as to someone in your environment, a child, uh, ex. A co-worker, someone thinking of you or you're thinking of them, all right? Tarot is about energy. We have high vibe, we have low vibe, we have those in the middle and those striving to be in the middle. Now, with that being said, know your place in this reading, all right? This reading will resonate with individuals differently. I want to welcome, <clears throat> excuse me, all my incoming stars to the channel. If you are new, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment if I resonate with you. I want to welcome back all my stars. I appreciate you. I appreciate the comments, the confirmations, the donations. Any information that you need will be in the description box below. I want to go ahead and get straight into this reading. Now, Aries, I want to know some of the things that affected you in your past that may be still lingering in your future <laughs> or your present okay so i want to know some of those past itch issues that may be blockages right now excuse me because Mer mercury <laughs> retrograde is all in my mouth i feel like i can't find the words to say maybe that resonates with you or someone you're dealing with either show me what it is i need to see So we have surrender to effort, effortlessness. Stop pursuing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. Surrender negative thinking. You have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. I feel like someone was heavily in their mind thinking a lot, possibly needing to not move so hastily sounds like Aries energy all right what are some of the past things surrender to worry make a commitment to not lead an anxiety driven life when worries arise breathe them out of your body focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always interesting hmm. surrender your desire to control people so if someone is dealing with some control issues all right it can be self-control or control over others all right i see a little bit of ego in your past and surrender negative thinking so some of the past issues that may be affecting your current is denial so this card is saying to accept people and situations exactly the way they are without denying the difficulties then you can see things clearly and make the best decision all right so if, if you can see that this person is blindfolded here all right so i feel like someone was not uh you know paying attention paying attention to where they were going um you know we've seen some surrender to effortlessness okay i feel like there was a push and pull dynamic possibly in your past all right and for some of you it had something to do with the way you because i'm hearing perception the way you perceived a situation a situation with surrender negative thinking and surrender to uh setting limits i believe like for some of you this this person or you may have uh manifested you know uh, this current situation, maybe someone is in denial. They don't want to take accountability. And uh, yeah, surrender your need to always be right. Yeah, I feel like someone doesn't want to take accountability. They're in denial at this current moment. And they could possibly be setting limits on you 
or you could be setting limits on yourself or others. Someone has a fear of changing here. All right, Aries. So, <clears throat> let's see where you are in your present. Show me where Aries is in your present. Ether, show me what I need to see. So, we have Sagittarius and Uranus. Some of you may have Sagittarius in your chart or you'll be dealing with one. This is to me signifying someone on a spiritual path okay someone trying to get focused and set some goals i feel like either you or this person has went through some life lessons and um yeah this person may have uh did a lot of self-imposing limiting behavior i'm hearing there could have been a tower moment due to someone's focus maybe this person this person was misguided. It's like I can, can't get the words out. Yeah. Okay. So we have the fourth house, Cancerian energy. You could be a Cancer uh, moon or something like that. Or you could be dealing with the Cancer. Or this could have something to do with the matriarch in your family. Uh, this could have something to do with someone's perception of women. Okay. This could also be a child's mother. I feel like <clears throat> someone was holding on to some belief system here. Yeah, most definitely. You can have Taurus in your chart or Cancer or be dealing with those individuals. This is about the way you were raised, okay? Um, the things that you value. You could be someone that works a lot or this person works a lot, okay? So the second house belongs to Taurus. This is all about your finances, Again, this could have something to do with belief system. This is also about religious beliefs. This is also talking about marriage for some people. All right. There, here we have Pisces. Some of you could have a Pisces moon or be dealing with one. Some of you also could be having some psychic uh, hits in your dreams. You could be dreaming about someone. You could, be, you could most definitely be idealizing this person or them you. I feel like someone wants to connect with you, okay? This person may have denied this in the past. Yeah, most definitely. Someone is most definitely having some sort of spiritual awakening or some sort of intense dreams, okay? I do feel like someone is hiding their feelings here. Someone wants to nurture a situation. Pisces Cancer Energy. This is most definitely feminine energy on the board. Where are you, Aries? Huh? Oh, Pluto. You could have a scorpion. A scor you could be dealing with the Scorpio, or you could have scorpionic energy at the moment with a transformation. This could also indicate a healing. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. All right. Someone is trying to get to the heart of a matter as if their life depended on it. Ooh, cards want to come out my hand. Either show me what it is I need to see. Oh, Saturn. Mm -hmm. Someone most definitely wants to take action. I feel like this is after a stagnation period. This person has most definitely learned something, or you. In, in their mind, they're thinking about you. This person could also be stubborn. They could be refusing to reach out, okay? They could also feel like they want to offer you some sort of stability. We did see the second house, and we did see Taurus. So some, some of you are most definitely dealing with the Taurus or a Capricorn here, all right? Someone wants something sturdy. Someone wants something long-term, a commitment. Saturn is all about commitment. It's all about time. So this indicates that either someone is building their finances or uh, building a more stronger belief system, okay? This is due to karma, all right? This is a destiny card, as you can see. This is also speaking about uh, Saturn and Capricorn energy. It's a stability. This is about your future, your career, your love, all right. Most definitely there's some sort of purification going on. Okay. I feel like someone may be doing a lot of crying, a lot of purging, a lot of things are coming out with the secrets coming out. And this is caused by some sort of ending here. Someone could have definitely ended a karmic cycle. This person could be someone in the public art or this is you, Aries. 
okay you could also be dealing with the leo but it doesn't have to be this could be you stepping into your higher self okay or this could also be something coming to uh to the light here all right most definitely it says things brought to the light okay this is uh, Mercury energy. Some of you, again, may be experiencing some people coming back with the Mercury retrograde. This is saying that something most definitely uh, will come to fruition for some of you, but come to the light during this Mercury retrograde. You'll get a new understanding about something or you'll have a new perspective. You may also be communicating a lot with people around you. It's most definitely a tower moment. Someone most definitely wants to bring something to you. And this is going to be a surprise for some of you. This person loves you with the Venus energy, Taurus, Libra. They're most definitely attracted to you sexually. This person um, thinks about you and thinks about the good times here. In the past, this person was in denial of this. Okay, so I feel like you and this person went through some sort of ooh, karmic cycle. Okay, and during this karmic cycle, someone learned something. They learned exactly what they wanted. This could be the energy of you and the cross watcher. All right, so either show me some of the blockages for Aries. I want to know some of the blockages in Aries relationship. Uh, partnership and business that may be stopping them or halting them at this time. Possibly what will or what is stopping Aries from moving forward. Either show me what it is I need to see. So we have damsel in distress and mystic. Okay, so someone is definitely paying attention to you or you're paying attention to them. This is someone wanting to come to your rescue or you want to come to theirs. This is someone that is magical or mystic. This person can see you as someone that's very uh, spiritually in touch. Okay, some of you are very attractive in this person's eyes or, or vice versa. This this person definitely sees you as being divine okay or close to the divine in some kind of way i'm hearing beauty is like no other oh that's so sweet okay so someone wants to give you an offer this person is very guarded okay uh oh, servant is sticking up yeah i feel like someone you most definitely could work in a service energy uh, industry okay and someone may not have the energy because that's it yeah Okay, I feel like someone most definitely is a slave to their environment. They could possibly having some litigation, litigation issues. You could possibly be dealing with someone that has some sort of, um, not disorder, but this may be an injury or some sort of sur surgery or uh, mental illness, you know, probably stress, someone that may have, you know, been like I'm hearing boxer um, this person could also be in, in the army or military for some of you okay or they feel like it <clears throat> Ethan show me what it is I need to see what are some of the blockages that may be stopping Aries from moving forward someone definitely wants to come to someone's rescue okay Someone is, is pushing off someone's addictive behavior. They could have someone, uh, this person could be, could be very addicted to you or to, to <laughs> are you to them. They could also be uh, pushing away their emotions for you, in denial of their emotions. They could also want to come together uh, with you again. Okay, yeah. I feel like this person may have been selfish. This person didn't um, share their love for you, even though they may have had a deep love for you. Yeah, this person, um, I feel like with this child eternal energy, you and this person share a bond. Okay, you could have possibly known this person since childhood. You could have children with this person for some of you. Or this person could just feel like a child. You may bring back a lot of memories. Um, 
you could be in the public eye a public speaker or this person is they could be a musician or into poetry they could even sing okay this person i'm hearing songbird yeah most definitely with poet here i feel like this person loves your voice they love the way you talk to them ah yeah it's like mystical yeah either you or this person may have had some choice words in the past yeah okay yeah someone took you for granted or you took them for granted most definitely and someone rebelled in this situation got to tell you got to tell you all right so potential future a possible outcome and influences for aries potential future are possible Outcome or influences for Aries. Either show me what it is I need to see. Show me what it is I need to see. Someone has most definitely gained some wisdom due to being in the shark tank. I seen that. All right, so we have oh equality and moderation. Okay, so yeah, someone most definitely, you know, took a lot in this situation. Either you took a lot and this person gave a lot or vice versa. It's most definitely, I keep saying it most definitely, but I want to emphasize this. This is a change happening here because we have two fires on the table. So your energy is mirroring each other, okay? So you can most definitely be dealing with the water sign. I feel like this is your energy here, Aries, but it could be vice versa vice versa i feel like you are slowing down and really getting to know people or you may be getting to know this person you may see this person as different you know or something that's most definitely unique you may share a lot of things in common mm, oh yeah yo you see that <laughs> it's a connection and we have groundedness. I feel like someone was, was caught up in someone's web here, okay? Um, and needed to get grounded. You could have walked away from this person or them, you. But someone was definitely caught up in this situation. This is interesting. Oh, yes, someone freed themselves. Maybe this person was caught up in a current situation, um, a prior situation for some of you, and they had to free themselves. Okay, I feel like someone most definitely um, found out some information during this retrograde, or they will, okay? This person sees you as beautiful or vice versa. They want to free themselves and come towards you, okay? This is the Venus energy. And again, we, we, we see the surrender denial, and we see, okay, okay, all right. <laughs> All right, so I feel like this person didn't tell you that you were beautiful. If you were a male, they didn't tell you you were handsome or um, they seen you as this beautiful swan, you know, but they denied it. For some of you, they denied their feelings. Again, they see you as the perfect counterpart, okay? I feel like someone had to walk away in the situation with songless this person dreams about you they may also be getting some sort of information in their sleep from their ancestors god whatever it is you believe in your higher self okay they may have found out something in their dreams here hmm. someone questioned your authenticity or vice versa i feel like you were dealing with uh, a karmic uh, you know probably both of you were dealing with the karmic you may question this person's loyalty or was they being authentic. Some of you may have even confronted this person and they were definitely uh, stubborn in denial. Some of you, this is a Taurus, uh, or you have Taurus in your chart. They may have uh, sacrificed you or you sacrificed this person in the past. Eat there, show me. The potential outcome or influences. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Connection. Someone is still caught up Interesting. So we have learning the sacred abyss and 22 energy. Some of you are twin flames or divine counterparts. Most definitely we have eight here. This indicates to me that this has been a, a, 
a cycle. Turtles are really, really ancient, okay, and they're really um, sacred in some parts. I feel like someone most definitely hid their emotions from you. For some of you, I have to say it, possibly children were born in this connection. I feel like someone wants to walk through your door. That's the second time we've seen door in this reading. Yeah, this person learned something. That's another four. They're watching you, okay? <laughs> they want to bring balance to the situation or you're watching this person, okay, very closely. <laughs> yeah, this person <laughs> is waiting for the right moment to move in. You could have a cat or this person likes your eyes or they think your eyes is very mysterious. You have cat eyes for some of you. Okay, and you may have a cat-like intuition. For some of you, you went through several rebirths with this person. Most definitely, there um, something came to a, a completion here because someone was using their intuition. I feel like you, you, you both are watching each other energetically. Yeah. We have fierceness. Someone wants to come in fiercely towards you and make some sort of offer <clears throat> why is the sacred this here either show me what it is i need to see so we have i am humble and i hold purity and high esteem okay you and this person went through a battle all right uh for some of you you're going through if you are single you're denying someone okay you could be denying someone from the past. If that's the case, you have to clear the energy if you don't want this person here. But I feel like someone is really denying a true counterpart here. I feel like you uh, went through a lot with this person. They most definitely hold you on a pedestal. Okay. The situation humbled you or this person. Mm -hmm. Sacred this. Ether, show me what it is. Oh. Too many cards. Let's go for it, okay? I am trustworthy in my relationships. I speak positively of others. I speak with good intent. And I care for the earth, okay? I feel like this is the things that you or this person needs to keep in mind when they are trying to manifest this connection, okay? I feel like you have to speak good words about you and this person. Um, I do feel like this person sees you as fertile, okay? Um, if you are not wanting children or maybe you're not in children bearing um, age, this person sees you as abundant. They want to come together and bring something to fruition, okay? Something tangible, something you can touch or hold, something that you could say you built together. Okay, so I feel like this person is ready to speak with good words uh, to you, but I speak positively of others. This person may have went through a period where they did not, okay? And this is, I am trust for, trustworthy in my relationships. This is all these things that this person may have been working on in the past are you, and this is what is needed for you to complete and walk through this door and make this happen, okay? It says, I remain in balance with my emotions, okay? This is a cancer card, so some of you are dealing with the cancer Okay, I feel like going forward, you're going to have to speak to each other very calmly, nicely, and like you love each other if you do want this person back. It says, I relate in peace, you know. Some of you do have healing hands, or this person likes the way you touch them, okay? Uh, yeah, I affirm that all life is sacred, yeah. I, I feel like someone took someone for granted in the past. I embrace the all. Oh, this person may have not been open to the things that you were open to. And, uh, yeah, I communicate with compassion. I feel like they may have downed you or you downed them in the past, uh, you know, due, due to some beliefs here. Okay, so why is Saturn here? Mm, imprisonment. This person can't stop thinking about you. For some of you, this person, uh, you're dealing with someone in jail. They may be denying their involvement. Saturn. It came out, yeah. 
family room someone may want to bring a partnership back together with the family room reverse i feel like there you know the family room is empty now either someone is completing the cycle where they are walking away but i feel like for a lot of you this privileged lady energy this could be you or this could be someone wanting to make you a privileged lady here at the bottom of the deck we have thoughts this person is ready oh yeah they're ready to come out of bad health all these cards look like they're upside down but yeah this is a past lover for some of you um this person may have to leave someone yeah for some of you you uh, feminine energy may have to leave a counterpart to go back to their true love I'm hearing family room yeah wealthy man they definitely want to make you a privileged lady here a marriage someone wants to bring some sort of offer oh look at that these are counterparts privileged lady wealthy man and the marriage these are, these are the empress and the emperor of the energy. So we got Aries in the building, right? They definitely want to come out of a poverty with you, out of bad hell, bad communication. Some of you may have this person blocked. Ooh, yeah. All right, Charlie Turner. Mature man and pathway blocked. Okay. Okay. So some. Okay. Yeah. So this. I feel like this is for a di, uh, divine feminine that may have to leave a current partnership uh, due to someone being childish, blocking your pathway. You may have thought this person was the one, but they're not here. Yeah. Adjudication. Most definitely, that has to come to an end. You seen it. You seen it. All right, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later.